OmniSampler is a grid-based virtual sampler instrument that's especially well suited for drums, percussion, and beat creation. To open an instance of OmniSampler, first make sure you have an instrument track open, and if you don't, click on Track, Insert Virtual Instrument, and then we'll click on the little keyboard here. Then select VSTI Instruments, scroll down to OmniSampler, and click on it. To view the user interface, click Edit, and we can close the instrument window here, and here it is. The main user interface displays 16 grid locations, each of uh. The main user interface displays 16 grid locations, each of which holds an individual sample file, but OmniSampler can hold up to 128 individual sample files. These 16 locations over here are represented by the little gray squares over here, and if we move this around, we can look at the different locations. You can also see that the note names over here correspond to the notes on a MIDI keyboard. Samples are loaded the same way as with Alpha Sampler. You can navigate to folders using the Load Sound button over here, or you can drag and drop samples in from Mixcraft's library, the main workspace window, or the Windows desktop. In this example, I'm going to load samples from Mixcraft's library, and I'm going to open the library by clicking the tab right here. And Mixcraft 7's library includes one-shot drum samples intended for use with OmniSampler. I can access these by clicking this pop-up menu here, and selecting Samples, and then you can see it says Drums Acoustic and Drums Synthetic, and I'm going to choose Synthetic. I'm going to make the library window a little bigger by putting my mouse over here and dragging up. And let's start with a kick drum. Let's bring in a snare drum, and some hi-hats. Here's a closed one, and an open one and a hand clap, and a weird noise just for fun. You can hear the sounds directly on the pads by pressing the little play buttons on each pad, and you can mute or solo sounds with these M and S buttons over here. And the MIDI note numbers here correspond to the keys on a keyboard controller. You might notice that this clap sound right here is a little loud compared to my kick drum over here. We can adjust parameters for each sound individually with the controllers over here. The important thing to remember is that all the controls that are in the gray area are individually settable for each pad. The controls in the yellow area are global for the entire instance of OmniSampler. So at this point I'm going to take my clap sound and I'm going to take the volume knob and turn it down a little bit. The only exception to that is this global button right here. With the global button pressed, all the controls act globally on every sound in the OmniSampler. But I'm going to turn this off right now so I can control each pad individually. For a detailed explanation of what each of OmniSampler's parameters do, check out the Alpha Sampler Parameters video. Like any virtual instrument, you can record MIDI notes by pressing record and playing a keyboard. But instead, I'm going to show you how to make drum patterns using Mixcraft's Step Editor. We'll begin by adding an instrument clip because Mixcraft needs something to edit. Go to the area right here next to the track, right click, and click on Add Instrument Clip. I'm going to slide this right over to 1. And then I'm going to choose Step over here. Now what's really neat about this is that the OmniSampler instrument names are shown right here. I'll begin by choosing the Pencil tool. And I'm going to loop this section by dragging up here. And then pressing Loop. Now I'm going to press Play and I'm going to start drawing notes in, in the grid. You can erase notes by clicking on them again, or by using the eraser. And that's it. And finally, remember that like Alpha Sampler, all the samples and sample grid maps for an Omni Sampler are automatically stored in the Mixcraft project file, so you never have to worry about where your samples and grid maps are stored on your hard drive.